So we're in the studio today and I wanted to talk about my personal setup, the Blackmagic Ursa Mini 4.6K. This is the camera I use for pretty much everything, for all my music videos, commercials. Uh, I, I love this thing, I freaking love this thing. Big shout out to Blackmagic for putting out an awesome product. I've been loving this camera since day one when it came out and it makes all my music videos look fire. The user interface on this camera is so easy to understand and work through, it's nothing like the complicated Sony menus. So I started out in 2008 with a Canon 5D2, which was a great camera. I used it for a ton of music videos. Uh, it was really good for learning on, you know, composition, uh, got my framing down and, and really learned a lot with that. But when it was time to upgrade, uh, I was looking for something a lot more cinematic. Uh, my options at the time were the Red Raven, uh, a few other cameras. One of the best things about this camera is unlike RED, not everything's proprietary. And I think that's one of RED's biggest downfalls is you buy a camera for five grand, but it might take 13 grand to make it run. This camera pretty much runs right out of the box. The Blackmagic color science is just incredible. What I think it does with skin tones is up there with the best of the cameras, the RE Mini. As you can see, this thing's pretty battle torn. It's definitely been in the trenches with me for a while. I've taken this thing out of country, you know, filmed on beaches, pretty much any kind of um, circumstance you could put this camera through, it's been through. So it's definitely got the scars to prove it. I have the CC Tech SSD reader, and I could fit up to four terabytes worth of uh, memory in here. Really helps because I shoot mostly everything on RAW, uh, as I'm also a colorist. I have the CT Pro uh, modded lens on here. This is the originally the Sigma 18 to 35 that's been rehoused in a cinema housing. This gives me a few benefits. One being the focus ring is better for follow focusing and the cinema housing fits better in all my map boxes and is easier to swap out. I would say that this lens is primarily what I use for mostly everything, but sometimes I'll switch to this Rokinon 85 prime if I want a really tight shot with shallow depth of field. For map box, I'm using the Faka DP500. And in here I have a Nisi 0.9 IRND filter. One thing to note about these cameras is that there is a bit of IR pollution. So if you are gonna get ND filters, make sure you get them with IR cut. When I was looking at V-mount batteries online, I came across these Max Oaks. These things are super affordable and hold a huge charge. This thing runs my camera mostly throughout my entire music video. Maybe I'll use two of them max. The small rig top handle and cheese plate add a ton of mounting options for me and make it really easy to add wireless transmission or microphones if I need. Noise on this camera has never really been a problem for me unless I'm pushing it to about 1600, which I pretty much never do. With the new firmware updates, they've given you black shading calibration, which really helps you cut back on that noise. I like to calibrate with the black shade calibration after the camera's been on for about five minutes or so. I feel that gives me the best results and removes a lot of noise. Ultimately, you guys can go any route you want with cameras. Personally, for me, I'm just a, a fan of the Blackmagic color science. It's pretty much a cinematic image right out of the camera without any modification. Down the line, I might upgrade to the Ursa Mini Pro, but for right now, this thing serves all of my needs and it's got a bigger LCD screen, which is nice for focusing and things like that. This camera has so many features that makes it so easy to use. The, uh, the false color for exposure, the focus peaking is really awesome on it, and just the ability to upload my LUTs onto it and display them as I'm filming really helps me get a better feel for what I'm shooting while I'm on set. I did just pre-order the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema camera too, which I just can't wait for. It's gonna be nice to get a little bit more lightweight and be able to travel again, you know, with one backpack. It's gonna be great. If you have any questions or comments about my setup, feel free to comment below. And make sure you subscribe to my channel for more content.